But here I am. In 2021, my word was balance. So you're probably thinking, where has the balance been? Well, there's been a lot going on professionally and personally, and just a really busy, somewhat chaotic season of life. And in order to find balance, there had to be some give and take. And one thing I have always committed to is allowing my content to not be forced or for just the sake of getting content out there, but instead like really making it fit into my life and not making my life fit it. And it just didn't fit into my life. And I think what has overwhelmed me immensely has been how many of you, specifically over on Instagram, I feel like that's where we connect. If you're new here and you're not following me over on Instagram, you really should. I chat with so many of you all the time. I read every comment. I answer almost every DM that I get to the best of my ability. However, a lot of you actually showered so much love and actually a lot of respect that I just don't force content for the sake of content, but instead do it when it feels right and when I feel in a good place to do it. And I am feeling really good. I feel like I've gotten a little bit over a hump and I think we've all really found things to be really challenging over the last 14, 15 months. It's been a crazy, weird time in our country and in our world for so many reasons. And I feel like I'm getting a little on the other side, like a little air is left out of the balloon that I can give attention to things across multiple spaces in my life, this being one of them, and I'm really excited. If you are new here and you're watching for the first time, welcome. If you like basically anything, planning, home stuff, DIYs, cooking, all the things, you will find something here to connect. But ultimately what we connect about is kindness and not just kindness to others, but kindness to ourselves. Because when we are good to ourselves, we are better for everyone around us. I feel like the theme of this vlog is going to be a lot about upgrades, (laughs) upgrades, <laughs> upgrades in my house that I've made and some little tech things. And I want to share some things that I've really been loving. So it's going to be kind of a mix of some favorites that I've done, some DIYs. I'll talk you through what I've done. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a lot of them, but actually talk you through a little bit more of how I've done them and some finalized styling around the house and Yeah, we're just going to chat and catch up. Once again, if you're new, I will leave everything linked down below that I can possibly find for you that you might ask about. And we're going to just have fun. And that's it. I said and 5,000 times, but I'm excited to be back. I have missed you all, but I know it's always the right thing to write. Wait for the right time. And this is the right time. And I'm happy to be back. And... That's it. All right, let's get going. I just finished a Peloton ride. Our Peloton Bike Plus got delayed and then it finally got delivered. I've had it now, I think this is going into the second week or the end of the second week and really, really loving it. So let's start our first update looking at our Peloton room. So for those who are just watching, 
This is our Peloton room. Pardon any sweat that you see on the mat and my shoes being out. But if you remember several, several vlogs ago, I did this board and batten in this space and really, really love it. I did it the whole way around the room. It echoes all the other colors. I did, however, change out the art to these tapestries. I'm sorry, the lighting in here isn't great. It's a really overcast day. Maybe if I lift this up the whole way. I don't know, that might leave in a little bit more light. So I switched up these pictures just because it didn't feel like it flowed with the house because after I put up this wallpaper, it just felt off. So I went with this Copper Corners hand-painted wallpaper. She actually paints all the designs and then transfers them to peel and stick wallpaper, paste wallpaper, whatever you want, and I love it. And then we have our Holistic Habitat shelf and then our bike here, and then all of this space here for working out, which has been perfect. Our mats lay down here. We could do uh, the boot camps, all the things. So this is the Peloton Bike Plus. I would say features that I love about the Plus over the regular Peloton Bike is that all the cords, even from the monitor, are all internal and inside the bike, so it gives it a very clean look. We had our electrician put our plug in, so it's just a really clean, seamless look. The bike is still just as sturdy, just as quiet. Other game-changing pieces is it's compatible with your Apple Watch 6 and 5, I believe. It has a front uh, camera and speaker as well as a back speaker. The monitor is bigger. The other thing is it tilts and you can also turn it so when you're doing one of the floor workouts, the monitor actually faces you. It spins 360. However, we just don't need it to. However, it does have the room to do it. So really, really love it. The sound is incredible. And then this was a stool that I had from my grandmother. I used to pull it up next to her chair because I would refuse to eat dinner unless I was sitting next to her. And I painted it gold because it was getting a little rusty and I wanted to sand it down so I could have it for a really long time. And then over here, I actually built this yoga mat holder. So it's just stained scrap pine wood that I had. I added some hooks and then I put this leather strapping. I actually nailed it in and then put these brass tacks just to like make it look more profesh. And then we have our mats here. And then these are the two Serena Lily baskets. This is actually the medium and this is the small. The large is in my dining room. So in here I have weights and yoga blocks and yoga straps and all those things. And then in here I have extra towels and I usually throw my shoes in there. I just didn't put them in yet. So that is in here and I have like extra Delta clips and all of that. Super happy with it. While we're in this space, I guess I should show you some other updates that have happened. So you saw in like, I think maybe the last vlog when I did the entryway, I changed out all of our hardware in that section of the house. So I finally have gotten around to doing the whole downstairs. So the whole downstairs now has black hardware. As you know, we had done this bathroom over Vlogmas and has switched everything out to black. So now everything goes together, which is wonderful. I also did this door here to match the front door exactly and also bring that Acacia Hayes color in through the home. This whole space is actually Acacia Hayes, although it reads really tan right now in this light. Really, really happy with it though. And then the last little thing we did in the laundry room is I took down the old wallpaper and actually put some leftover entryway grass cloth paper that I had in here just to make the house feel cohesive. That was really the goal of making it flow a lot better and I'm actually really, really happy with it. That's the little updates in this section. So we've already done an update. Also another update while we're walking. I read an Architectural Digest article around wall plates and how people try to always match them and instead make them more of a feature to pop. So I actually replaced all of our wall plates on the downstairs floor. I think there were like over 60 of them to matte black and I love the graphic look it now adds and instead of like trying to match and them not always match perfectly, I've now just made them all matte black. It's such a little thing but it has elevated the space so, so much. And I really, really love it. So like all of these have changed out to matte black as well. And then 
I mean, I'm just gonna do updates as we're talking. I also finally got around to painting all my dining room chairs. It was a process, my friends, but I couldn't find matte black ones that I loved. I literally painted, sanded, painted again. I think I did it three times and sanded between each and every coat, but I love the matte black chairs. And I'm playing around with what I wanna do for the head chairs, but right now I really just like the six. I did a collection of art prints. Someone's gonna ask about our dining room light. It's McGee & Co. It's Studio McGee's actual store is called McGee & Co. And that's where this light is from. It's about 300 pounds. It is solid cast iron, but it's so beautiful. Look at the little stars on it. Back to the art. So this is from an Instagram company I found. Well, not it's not an Instagram company. I found them on Instagram. It's something Finch, I'll leave them linked. They have really cool vintage prints. All my frames are from Target and this is actually from Studio McGee's line at the Target store. I just love this collection. I love that they're a little bit layered behind the basket, really works. Here is the large Serena and Lily basket. This is where I keep, I actually have some bags other places, I just move them for filming. But I keep all my packing materials that come so you always have them to reach for because this would just sit empty. So it's a great place to use that. You guys all know about our bar cabinet that I converted, all the things. So those are dining room updates. I get so many questions about our pantry. Let me tell you, it's been now two, three months this pantry is holding up beautifully. I think the game changer for it was adding the felt pads on the bottom, but we use these baskets every single day. Don't worry, that's not chipped paint. That is a piece of the basket, I think. Anyway, none of the paint has chipped for us. It is withstanding, like, beautifully. I put my groceries away faster than I've ever put them away. Everything always looks clean and neat. I have a rice bag here. It totally fits there. I don't know why it's not in there. I think that is a Steven thing. Then over here we have this bench from Studio McGee. It is from their Target line as well. And I have these rolling pins, these vintage rolling pins in a basket. And then we added our hooks from Anthropology, some aprons and towels, and it's just so pretty. I really think at Christmas I'm gonna do like live beautiful garland on here. It's just, it's like a showstopper of a pantry. I love that we've done like this moody color throughout. It's one of my favorite spaces in the house, oddly. This bench is also really handy in the pantry because I will bring in my grocery bags and literally just put everything away. It's really nice to have, but pantry's holding up. Uh, lots of questions about how it would hold up no problems at all. Love it. So those are some of the big updates that have taken place that I'm really, really happy with. The other biggest update, which I'm going to actually walk you through a little bit later, is our coffee bar and station. Because a lot of things have happened here. A lot of organizing tips. Lots of things to link. But we will talk about that in a little bit. Meanwhile, I have to go get cleaned up because I just worked out. I'm all sweaty. So I will catch up with you guys shortly. Hello. Hi. Tell them what day it is. Uh, Sunday. Yes. We had a very exciting night. I didn't film. What did we do? Oh god, we hit this hot date. <laughs> <laughs> we had, uh, what did we have for dinner? You're eating the leftovers. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we, had, we had this rotini, or no, it's ziti. It's ziti. It's ziti. With chicken and, uh, spinach, which I made. And he had some too. And then we uh, cut it up and went to sleep, watched two Datelines, and that was it. And I got up at four, I worked out, I chilled out, Bubba's gone for a walk, and that's what we're doing. He had a very busy night though, he was performing at, at the club, so. Yes, two of them! So he came, he rolled in around three. How was it? Oh, do, do you want some? Do, what? Oop, oop. All right, so what I want to give you an update on, oh, well first I can show you this. So I wanted to get an academic planner that started in August and 
I went to, I forget if it's Emily Lee or Emily Lay. I forget how you say her last name. Someone will obviously correct me. Anyway, she does the simplified planner. So I got a pack of her pencils, a pack of the pens, um, the happy icon stickers, the flag stickers, and the color coding stickers. I got a set of the page clips and one of the book magnetic markers. And I actually used one of her Dapper Desk planners for work and I really, really liked it till I spilled coffee on it. So I got the white one. It's so pretty. It's a little bit smaller than the other. There's like some gold embossed 2122. And it's just calendars in the front and then a very simple day to a page with a time schedule and a to-do list and then a note section. It is so simple, so clean. That's one thing I really liked about it. And it starts in August, so I think that I'm really going to try to just stick with one planner for the year. That's hysterical because we all know that won't happen, but I have intentions to stick with that one for the year. All right, that out of the way. A lot of you have been watching on Instagram our coffee bar, and yesterday I promised I would talk you through exactly how I did it. So let's start from this top to the actual counters and then we'll get into the drawers. So there was beadboard that's built into this hutch, which when we first were in that house, I loved the texture it added. However, I knew I wanted to do something down here and I didn't want the beadboard to compete, but I also didn't want to permanently change it. What I ended up doing is cutting foam board and using the same Sisal uh, Artemis wallpaper that I put on the inlays of the cabinets here. And I just cut them to size, put them in, and I love that it adds texture and it also doesn't compete with the boarding that is down here. Inside the cabinet, I restyled it. And it's super subtle, but there is a hand-painted Copper Corners wallpaper in the back. Very neutral and tan. The print is not that bold, and that's what I wanted. Shelf styling is really simple stuff around the kitchen. Lots of things from Goodwill, like the, this bowl is from Goodwill. That's from Goodwill. That wall pocket is from Goodwill. This incense burner is from Goodwill. I think the books are from Goodwill as well. And then these other pieces, this marble uh, mortar and pestle are from McGee & Co. These are from Studio McGee, these two. That's from like Target dollar section. This is from Magnolia. I think that's from Target as well. And anyway, I just styled the shelves really simply. Tip around styling shelves. So I knew I wanted to have some gold or brass in this. So I try to work in diagonals is what I'm saying. So you'll see brass, 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 and then I have black or like a darker colored here, a darker color with the, with the metal around here, and then I have some up there, but I try to work in diagonal sections. Wood tones, wood tone, wood tone, wood tone. That's just a little tip to make it work really easily. And I kind of followed the same thing in this shelving unit. So there's like a beige, a beige, and a beige, and then like a gray, a gray, and a gray. All of these pieces are from either Studio McGee, Magnolia, or the antique store, like this old crock up here. And then down here, what I ended up doing, I can't remember if these are one and a half inch wide pine boards. That's what I think they are. I think they're one and a half inch. And I did molding all along the back with just my nail gun, patched them, painted it, and then wanted to layer on like this brass pocket here. And then this is just a Goodwill picture frame with an art print I bought on Etsy, printed it out, spray painted the frame gold, art for like a dollar. Can't beat it. And I love like the layered look behind the Nespresso. It's kind of like a little unexpected. 
Then we have our two coffee machines. Everyone asks me about this. This is a whole bean espresso machine. It's the DeLonghi Aletta Cappuccino top machine. Love it, use it every day. Then Steven has his Nespresso. He loves this thing. Here, this is from McGee & Co. These sugar bowls that I got are from Goodwill. And then these are my favorite jars from Amazon. And I just use my little Dymo label maker and I have the coffee syrups in them. This beautiful canister is from McGee & Co. And I just bought some biscotti on Amazon, oddly enough, and filled it with that. And then got a new tea kettle. I really wanted a matte black tea kettle. This one's a fellow. Amazon has the best price on them. Other places really mark it up. Best price I have found is Amazon. Once again, we'll leave everything linked that I can. This tile is from Portugal, I believe. It's one of the handmade tiles we bought while we were there. The other one, you can't see, but it's on the stove right back behind Steven. Then this is our little coffee drawer. So these tea dividers I bought on Amazon. I want to fasten them with some command strips to the bottom, but I just haven't gotten around to it. These spoons are from Amazon. And then this is kind of the most amazing thing I have found. These are from Amazon. They are foam perfectly cut for the virtual line machine. They don't move, they don't slide. I love them, it keeps them so organized. I have my iced coffee pods, I'm the only one that uses these, I love them. But this whole setup is just incredible. The rest of these drawers are just pretty empty. Some overflow like cocktail syrupy things that are not in the bar and some platters. That one's completely empty. This one actually just houses our records and oils. And then I moved over here and put all of our water bottles travel mugs, my snag milk frother, our, um, oh my god, I just forgot the name of these. Our percolators, but that's not what they're called. But, really love how this came out. I also used it to get really cohesive. So I did the Urbane Bronze here, which is the same here on this wall, and also the color of our pantry. I also, big house update, brought the Urbane Bronze over to the fireplace and repainted our entire fireplace Urbane Bronze. It goes so beautifully with the slate tile, but then I also did molding with pine boards all around it to add some texture and character. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love it so much. Watching Crystal Terra, love her. She's so nice and so lovely. We follow each other on Instagram as well. I just adore her. Watching and catching up with her new video. Steven's eating lunch. I'm gonna eat some lunch. And yeah, love it. I feel like I'm at a hotel every morning. It is around four o'clock. I think I'm gonna start prepping dinner. We're having chicken enchiladas tonight. Steven and I have been really trying to balance out our eating. So we have Purple Carrot Mill subscription. It's a vegan plant-based meal service. We use them for dinner four nights a week. And then the other three, we will have meat here and there, but uh, definitely much less than we have definitely consumed. Breakfasts are usually 100% vegan. Lunch is about 70 30 for me throughout the week and then dinners are four nights a week completely vegan and then three nights a week a little bit more flexible but tonight i'm making one of steven's favorites and that's chicken enchiladas i don't have a recipe but i'm going to show you exactly what i do to make it but before i do that let me show you one other thing that we've done to organize our garage that i'm obsessed with our garage storage was driving me crazy and we found these shelves on Amazon. They're so easy to put together. You can adjust the height, but it has helped organize everything. We have one of the smaller ones, one of the larger ones, and it has allowed us, let me go around on this side. Everything is off the floor. It's organized. I used all these little metal baskets that I had from when I redid the pantry, but it's so nice to have everything organized 
and out of the way and all those things. But loving them. I will link them because they're one of my favorite finds. Now, as far as the enchiladas, we're going to have to get a little flexible because I ordered an Instacart and they sent me the wrong size corn tortillas. So I'm going to make mini chicken enchiladas, but we will make it work. I am just shredding up probably half of this container of chicken. To this, we are going to add one can of cream of chicken soup. I'm also going to add a can of diced green chilies, some garlic and onion powder, and I'm also going to add just a little bit of this cheddar cheese. I'm just going to stir all that together. This is just red chili sauce from Wegmans. I'm gonna put some of that on the bottom of this pan, just so nothing sticks. And this could not get any easier. I'm just going to scoop some of that out, roll them up, and that is really it. So I'll get like one good scoop on. Actually, that needs a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna lay them all seam side down and we will make as many as we need. And they'll just be little baby enchiladas. Look who joined us. If I could not have, I, I could not have eyeballed that better. I mean, they fit snug as a bug in a rug. I used it all up. I am gonna get the oven preheating. I'm going to wait right until I'm about to stick these in the oven at 350 for about a half an hour. I'll probably cover them lightly with tin foil, but I will wait right before because I don't want them to get soggy and break apart on me. And I'll dump the sauce over, maybe sprinkle a little bit more cheese. Oven, half hour, donezo. So I did about 35 minutes at 350. It's super bubbly, all done. Look how good they look. Easy dinner, it literally took 10 minutes to prep. Go for it. <laughs> if you try it, let me know how it turns out for you. So going to let these sit for a few minutes. We're gonna eat dinner and I think this vlog is going to be done. I guess before I let you go, I should let you know that there are new shirts in my Threadless shop. They have black and white graphics so you can pick your colors, pick your sizes, each thing runs a little differently, so just read the measurements, but the t-shirts are so soft. I pay for my own. The only thing I do is the designs. Threadless takes care of the rest. But for spring and summer, it's about growth and not perfection. Showing myself grace, be the light, and plant kindness wherever you go. Like I said, you can have fun with the colors. It's all linked down below. And that was the last thing to share with you, another little update. All right, friends, we are going to eat dinner. I'm gonna get this prepped and published for all of you. And it's good to be back. It's really good, I've missed you all. So I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon. Actually, while I'm talking about it, next week's video is going to be an Amazon favorites. I have to film it early this week because I won't be able to film and edit and upload next weekend. So there will be a video, but it'll be a sit down Amazon favorites. Can't wait to share some things I've been loving and things I've been loving for a long time. But take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.